It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Uh, thanks for being here. Today's video is on Andy himself. And how he said that God led him away from ministry. Uh, this is kind of neat. So uh, let's look into it. Whatever higher power you may believe in, thank it, because nothing short of divine intervention led to one of the greatest television series of all time. Can you imagine a world without the Andy Griffith show? It would have meant a completely different television landscape for the 60s. Excuse me. American culture would be significantly different because what we uh, what would we hold on to if there wasn't a Gomer Pyle or even a Barney Fife? How different would Hollywood be if little Opie Taylor hadn't had the chance to observe and soak in what happens on a Hollywood set? Would Ron Howard still have grown up to conquer the movie theater? Luckily for all of us who exist in this timeline, we'll never have to really answer those questions because, of course, the Andy Griffith show does exist. But for the part of his youth, Griffith was more committed to his faith than his funniness. That's because while he was growing up, the boy who would be sheriff of Mayberry wanted to be a minister. So what changed? What steered Andy Griffith away from the altar and towards the limelight? To hear uh, Andy tell the story, the decision was based in that same faith that compelled him to preach in the first place. God has been a part of my life, part of my decision, and the cause of success, Griffith told the Barabu news public in 2005. I suppose I've thought about this many times. Perhaps God has, and I thank him for it, a reason for me not to go into ministry. I wouldn't have been any good at it anyway. He led me these different ways, including teaching for a while, and gave me an idea one day to write a comedy monologue on a song that Johnny Ray sang called Please Mr. Son, and I got laughs. I said, wait a minute, I think I'm on to something here. Thank God. And in old Bob's opinion, I don't think God led him away from ministry at all. I think this is just another form of, of ministering. Um, homespun laughter, good moral values, the show, um, and just all around good natured fun. And uh, I think that I think that's just as important um, because it's it's leading you in the right direction. It's not taking you in the wrong direction as most TV these days is. If that makes sense to you, I hope it does. Uh, but I think, thank, thank you, God, for that, really. <coughs> Sorry, the throat. Anyway, that's all I have for you. Um, I'm not sure what's going on, but viewership's down a little bit. I'll try to get it back up. Uh, and with your help, please, please share these out. Um, we'll be back tomorrow with the answers to your questions. Going to do the research later. Um, I've only got like, I think eight questions this time around. So this uh, little segment might be kind of falling to the wayside. We'll just see how many questions we get for next week. Um, have a great day. God bless you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Be praying for you.